In this video, we're going to see how we can submit forms with Django and preview the forms before we send the data to the server. And this will allow us to optionally edit any of the details before we actually finally submit the form. So we're going to see, number one, how to use a tool called Django Form Tools in order to set up this preview form. After that, we're going to show how to use our own custom templates and override that library's default preview templates. So let's get started with the video. We have here a GitHub repository. This is from a previous video on Form Wizard. Now we can use the same starter code here that we used in that particular video. So if you want to get started with this project, just clone this repository and you can then open that up in Visual Studio Code. Now I have it open here and what we're going to do here is we're going to go to requirements.txt and you can run the pip install dash r requirements.txt command to install Django and Django extension. Now in this video we're going to need another library, it's called Django Form Tools and you can see the documentation's main page here. We've already looked in a previous video at the form wizard. We're now going to look at this form preview page. So you can click that and open it. Now we also need to install this library into our environment. So let's go back to VS Code and you can run the command pip install and then the name of the library is Django Form Tools. Once you've installed that, we can also run the python manage.py migrate command and that will generate a new database for our project. Now in this video, we're going to use the same models that we used in a previous video. Notably, we're going to use this guest model to build a form that we can then preview when we submit the form. So let's go to the forms.py module and it's within this file that we're going to create a model form for the guest model. Before we do that let's go over to settings.py and you need to make sure of course that form tools is added to your installed apps before we start. So let's go back to forms.py and at the top here we're going to import the guest model and below that we can create a class called guest form and that's going to inherit from Django's model form class. We can then write a meta class within that class and we're going to specify that the model is the guest model and we're now going to specify the fields that we want to see in the form that belong to that model. So I'm going to paste a tuple here. It's got the first name, the last name, the email and the phone number. And these come from the model for the guest. So each of these four fields is going to be present in the form that we're creating here. So what we can do is now save the forms.py file. And we're going to go to views.py and we're going to get started using Django form tools in this part of the video. So let's go back to the documentation for form tools and specifically this form preview page. Page. I'll link this below the video. What we have here is a page that allows us to display an HTML form and force a preview. And to do that, we only need to inherit from a class that this library provides, and that's called the form preview class. So let's quickly read an overview of how this works. We have a form subclass, and we've just defined one of these. It's the guest form here. And we display that form as HTML on a web page, as it says in point one here. Then when we submit the form, it's validated. And if it's valid, what happens is it displays a preview page. Instead of sending the data straight to the server, it's going to display a preview. And if it's not valid, it's going to redisplay the form and it's going to show any error messages for fields that are not correct. And then finally, point three here, when the confirmation form is submitted, from the preview page, a done method in the form preview class gets called and then you can do anything you want within that method to save things to the database and so on. So let's get started writing this class. We're going to go down and we're going to grab this import from form tools and we're going to paste that at the top of the views.py file underneath the render function from form tools.preview we're importing the preview form and what I'm going to do is get rid of this index view and we're going to replace that with a class based view and let's call this class get Guest form preview and that is going to inherit from the form preview class that we've imported from Django form tools and now we can write the logic for this form. Now this form class it requires a done method and that's what's called after the final submission of the form. So we're going to paste a simple wrapper here. We'll fill this in with more useful code later on but for now it's just going to return an HTTP response with some text saying form submitted. And we need to import at the top the HTTP response class. So I'm going to import that from the Django HTTP module. So now we have this form preview subclass. We're now going to hook it up to a URL and that's going to be done within the URLs.py file. Now previously we had this index view here. We're going to remove that. And now we're going to use this guest form preview class and we're actually going to pass the form itself to that class as the first argument. Now we need to import the guest form at the top. It's from core.form we import that particular form and we pass it to the guest form preview class. So let's now run Django's development server and that's going to be with python manage.py run server and we're going to navigate to localhost 8000 and you can see that we get an error here and it's a template does not exist error and the reason that we're getting this is because Django form tools 
it provides us this preview form class and that has its own templates which are trying to extend this base.html but if you look at our project from the starter code the base.html that we have is actually within a core directory so it's not going to be able to find that unless we specify that it's in the core directory. Now one solution to this is to move the base.html into the template directory so that it can find that particular template. If we do that and go back to refresh this page, we now get the very basic looking form for Django form tools, the preview form. Now let's fill this in with some data. So we've filled the form in with some data. If we hit this button, which you'll note says preview, we get taken to this preview page and the details that we have submitted are at the top. And we also have another form below that that allows us to edit the submission. So if we decide to add some characters to one of the other fields and then hit preview again, you can see that it updates dynamically. So this is what the preview form does. If you have a form where you want your users to double check what they've submitted, it makes sense to use something like this where they can verify the details before they finally submit to the server. And when we're happy with the details that we've submitted, we can finally submit and we get back the text that we've specified in the done method for the HTTP response. And it's this method that we're going to edit now. What we want to do is when we submit the form, we actually want to create a guest in the database. Now we have a model form that's tied to guest. What we actually want to do here when we submit this is we want to create a row in the database with the guest's details. So let's go back to views.py and we're going to edit this function here. So at the top, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the guest model from our core.models file. And here we have access to the cleaned data. That's the data that's been validated and is available now to be used in this method. So to keep things simple here, we're going to write some ORM code, guest.objects.create and we can use the fields from the cleaned data in order to create that guest in the database. So now that we've done that, let's try submitting another form here. And when we finally submit the preview form, what we're gonna get is the same text, but what I'm gonna do now is go to the admin server. And I've already created a super user here called admin. So let's log in with that super user. And if we go to the guests table here, we see that we get back that user. So we've successfully added a new guest to our database. And that guest has these details such as an email address and a phone number. Now let's go back to the application here. As you can see, this is a very basic form. The templates that are provided by Django form tools are very simple in terms of styling. What happens if we want to change the styles and use our own templates? What we're going to do is override the basic templates. And to do that, we're gonna visit the GitHub for this project. So here's the GitHub page and I'll link this below the video. We're gonna find the default templates on this GitHub. So we can do that by going to the form tools directory and then the templates directory. Now you can see we have two templates here. One is called form.html and that's the initial page with the basic form and the second one is a preview.html that's the second page that has the preview of the data as well as the optional form to change that data so what I'm going to do is copy the code from the form.html and that's going to be the raw code itself I'm going to copy that and we're going to place that into the index.html that already exists in this project so let's remove the code from here and we can paste in this code from Django form tools and I've formatted that code a little bit better so that we can see what's going on we have a form element and a table that contains the forms fields and we also have this submit button here it's an input type of submit so that's the default template for the form preview we're going to move the base.html back into the core and once it's back in that directory we're going to change the extends statement at the top and we're going to extend that core slash base.html once we've done that we can go back to views.py and within the form preview class we can define a field and that field is called form template and that's going to allow us to show the form template for the first part of this process which is just to display the form and allow the user to submit. So the form template is gonna be core slash index.html and that's the file that we've just modified here. If we save that and go back to our page and refresh this page, you can see that it looks exactly the same even though we have now changed the form template in the view. Now the goal of doing this is to be able to customize the form template that's used. So what we're gonna do is stop the server and we're gonna install Django Crispy Forms. And we can do that with this command, it's pip install Django-Crispy-Forms. Once we've done that, we can go to the settings.py file and we can add crispy underscore forms to the installed apps. And once we've added crispy forms to installed apps, we're gonna paste another setting from Django Crispy Forms and that's the crispy template pack. We're going to set that equal to bootstrap four. Now, because we're using Bootstrap 4 to style up the forms, what we're gonna to need to do is go to the Bootstrap documentation. 
And on this page, which I'll link in the description, we have this CSS section here. We can copy the code and then paste that into our base.html file. And that will go in the head tag here within that base file. We can paste in the link tag and that's gonna bring the bootstrap styles into our application. So let's save the base.html and we can close that off. What we're now going to do is go to our index.html that contains the form. And we're gonna style this up using Django Crispy Forms. Now at the top here, in order to use Crispy Forms, we need to load the Crispy Forms tag. So we use that statement at the top here. And then where the form is currently rendered, it's done as a table. We're gonna remove that and instead we're going to use the crispy template filter and that's going to render it using bootstrap 4 styles using Django crispy form so let's save that file and we're going to run the Django development server with python manage.py run server and if we go back to the page here you can see that the form looks a lot better when it's using these crispy form styles just for reference let's look at it again using the form as table as it was originally if we go back with that one and refresh the page you can see that looks a lot more primitive so we're improving the styles a lot just by including this crispy template filter here so now that we've done that for the original form page which is this one here we now need to do this for the preview page page which is the second page that's shown after you submit the original form and that page contains the preview data along with a form to change up that data that you originally submitted so what we're going to do is go back to the github for django form tools we're going to go back to that templates directory we originally copied the form.html that's the first step in the workflow the second template containing the preview data is this one here so what we're going to do is copy the raw html from this template and we're going to paste that into a new template that we're going to call preview .html. So let's paste that code in here and I've reformatted this code so that it's a little bit easier to read. What we have in this template is at the top we have a table that contains the originally submitted data and that's rendered out here in a TD element with this field.data. Below that we have two forms and it's the bottom form that we are interested in. That one has the same form.as table as we saw in the previous form. So what we're going to do is remove that and again we're going to replace that with the crispy template filter and again we need to copy this load crispy forms tags over to the new template as well and we'll paste that in at the top just underneath the extend statement. So that's all we need to do here in the preview.html. So let's now test this out on the browser. If we go back there and we refresh this page, if we fill that form in and then hit the preview button, you can see that once again, it cannot find that base template. And that's because we haven't changed the view. Here within the form preview class, we also need to set the preview template here. And we're going to set that equal to the core slash preview.html template. So now if we go back and refresh this page and we resubmit that form, we get this page here and you can see that the form at the bottom is now styled using bootstrap 4 and Django crispy forms and we can do any styling that we want on this page for example at the top here we have a table we can style that using bootstrap if we go back to the preview.html and it's this table at the top here we can give it a class of table which comes from bootstrap if we go back to that page and refresh you can see that we now get a table that's a little bit nicer rather than what we had before so that's all for this video we're very quickly shown how to build a preview form with Django and Django form tools and we're subclassing this form preview class here in a view and then we create the forms from that that allow us to preview a submission before it's sent to the server. So thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video.